Hello everyone. Welcome to the course Big Data Analytics in MongoDB. In this lecture, we will discuss about how to create collection and how to drop collection. In our earlier lecture, we discussed about how to create database and how to drop database in MongoDB. Now in this, we will see how to create collection and how to drop collection. Let us move to create collection. The create collection method. So in this method, in the collection C is capital. So MongoDB, db.createCollection, which consisting of two parameters, one is name, another one options, is used to create collection. The basic syntax of create collection command is as follows. db.createCollection, Within parentheses, the first argument is the name. The second one is options. Let us see what is purpose of name and uh, what is use of options argument. So here in this command, name is name of collection to be created. Whereas options is a document and is used to specify configuration of collection. So this is the purpose of name and options parameters. Now here, let us see the two parameters. First one is name. The second one is options. What are its type and purpose? Let us see. The name parameter type is string. What is purpose of this one? Name of the collection to be created. Whereas options parameter, its type is document type which is optional, which specify options about memory size and indexing. If you want to define our customized memory size and you have to provide the indexing, then you have to use the optional field options. Now in options, which is a optional parameter. So we need to specify only the name of the collection. So following is the list of options we can use. What are the possible options available in options field? So the first field is capped, which, which is the type of Boolean. It is optional. If it is true, means enables a capped collection. So what is meaning of capped collection is a fixed size collection that automatically overrides its oldest entries when it reaches its maximum size. If we specify true, then we need to specify size parameter also. So when our capped field is true, then compulsory, you need to mention size parameter also. What is size parameter below, we'll see. The next field is auto index ID, which is of the type Boolean. It is also optional. If it is true, automatically create index on underscore ID field. Underscore ID field in earlier lecture, we discussed with this is the primary key default uh, representation by using underscore ID in MongoDB. So it's a default value is false actually. If you want to enable this, we can make it as true. Then the size parameter, this can be used along with caput field. Its type is number and also it is optional, which specifies a maximum size in bytes for a caput collection. If cap is true, then we need to specify this field also. Here we mentioned. Then the next field is max, which, which is the type of number. This is also optional, which specifies the maximum number of documents allowed in the cap collection. Along with size, you want to set the number of documents also. You can use the max parameter. So when, while inserting the document, MongoDB first checks size field of capital collection. Then it checks max field. This is the order of checking. Now let us see the basic syntax of create collection method without options first. So simply uh, first you can use the database, whichever the database you want. Uh, so wherever uh, the collections you are creating, all collections will be stored into the database we use. For example, here use test. Then it is switched to db test. Then by using the command db dot create collection here without any option, just name of the collection. Suppose my collection. Then it gives OK one. That means the collection is created. Now 
First, you can check the basic syntax of create collection method without options. First, you can switch to the database, whichever the database you want to use. So for example, here, use test, the switch it to DV test. Now we are creating the collection using dv.create collection. So without any option, within quotations, give the name of the collection. Then it shows OK. Then let us see the created collection. How we can see that? Now let us see. So first we have to switch to database, whichever you want. So then you can create the collection db dot create collection in collection c is capital here the collection name is my collection then it is showing okay okay now let us demonstrate this one practically so now you can go to our mongodb client version so now first you can see show dbs let us check all the available uh, databases now we are having my db sample db test so for example here you can use any database use test i am using use test now it is pitched to db test okay now what are the collection we'll create here those collections will be stored into test database. We have seen the command db dot create collection. So db dot create in collection C capital. Suppose here the collection name without any options we are seeing. So you can give within quotations here. Now I am giving. So here uh, MongoDB collection I am giving. The name of the collection is now MongoDB collection. Now you can see here it is showing OK1. That means the MongoDB collection was created with this db.create collection. So you want to see the created collection. So whether it is really created or not for that. So we have to use the command show collections. Here collections is plural we can check the created collections by using the command show collections simply you can type in our prompt show space collections what are the collection you created it displays so what is the collection we created just now that is mongodb collection let us see show space collections all are lowercase letters but collection is plural now you can see so recently, what is the database we created here? MongoDB collection. Now here you can see, here it is showing MongoDB collection. Like that, we will create our own collection. That is, I think, a table in RDB machine, MongoDB, it is called as collection. That is the way of creating collection in MongoDB. Whatever we demonstrated, the same screenshots are included here. Okay, now with the options, let us see one example. So you want to create a collection with some options like capped, auto index ID, size and max. This is one example. The following example shows the syntax of create collection method with a few important options. So db.create collection here, let us assume name of the collection is my COL. So then comma within set brackets, you can give the options. So what are the options we are having capped? If you want to enable it, you can give it as true. Then auto index ID, if you want to use this one, you can use, you can enable it true. Then size, what are the size you want to suppose 614 MB. So size you can mention, then maximum documents allowed, for example, 10,000 documents like that. What are the options in the about table, what we discussed, you can mention whichever you want. So whenever you can use capped should be true then automatically you have to mention size max based on our requirement how many documents it takes like that so whenever you can execute this one it shows the message like this okay some error message some unknown field like something like that you can verify the syntaxes so like that you can create a collection so whenever you can run the previous example so this is the output 
you will get here. In MongoDB, we don't need to create collection. Then MongoDB create collection automatically when we insert some document. So earlier, during our previous lecture, create database, there we demonstrated the use of insert statement. So MongoDB creates collection automatically when we insert some document. So earlier we used db, db dot, uh, student one dot insert. So that student one is the collection automatically it creates using the insert uh, statement. Now let us see the same example again. db dot suppose here VDA collection dot insert. Here VDA collection is the name of the collection. Here we use insert command. So here whatever the attribute you want name for example big data analytics. Here it shows right result and insert a number of records inserted one. So whenever you can uh, see the show collections automatically here video collection is available here. We'll also let us check here. So video collection, what are the collection? Okay, now db dot. So now here I will give mongo db collection one I will give. Now, here we no need to create. Whenever you use insert uh, command automatically, this collection will be created. Now we have to use insert, give the attributes within double quotes. So for example, attribute is name, then colon. Again, within uh, quotations, you can give the value. So what is the name? MongoDB is a no SQL, no SQL DB. This is the name I'm giving. Now let us see. So this you can give within quotations, the values as a key pair value. This is one key pair. Now you can see. Now here you can see write result and inserted colon one. So this one document is inserted. Now you want to see this collection, use the command show collections. Now here you can see, when you can run this command, here in addition to the, this above collections, here it shows MongoDB collection one. Automatically it creates using insert command. Here you can see now MongoDB collection one was created. This is the another advantage of MongoDB. So here, we no need to create a collection directly. Suppose even by using insert command. So whatever the name here you can give, the collection with this name will be created. So this is the example what we demonstrated. Then coming to finally, how to drop collection similar to drop database in MongoDB, how to drop collection. So for this, we'll use the command db dot collection dot drop. So is used to drop a collection from the database. The basic syntax of drop command is as follows. db dot, whatever the collection name, that means table name, dot drop. Here db drop or fixed, only collection name you can change, whichever the collection you want to drop. So first what we have to do, check the available collections into our database using my db. So first we have to, whatever that uh, database you want to use from that db, uh, whichever the collection you want to remove. So uh, use this drop collection command. First, let us uh, check which database here already we are using test database, use test. So again, uh, you can move to the new line. So use test one. Again, we are switching to test one. Now in this, see what are the collections available show collections show collections seeing our database is test not test one so use test now see the collections these are all available collections so recently we created mongodb collection one suppose if you will drop mongodb collection one let us see so here we have seen the collections available in test database. Okay, now this is again previously all existing. 
Okay, now what is the syntax for this? Here you can see db dot collection name dot drop. Simply you can use which returns true means successfully the collection was dropped. So here db dot our collection name is MongoDB collection one. We are removing MongoDB C O L L E C T O collection one. So we are dropping this one. So here db dot collection name dot simply you can use drop method like like this when you can execute this command so here it returns true it returns true means the collection was dropped successfully here you can see so again you want to check the list of collections into database again use show collections when you can use show collections statement let us see our previously dropped collection is available now or not. Now you can see here our collection name is which, which is the collection we dropped MongoDB collection one. But here you can see VDA collection is there, MongoDB collection is there, my collection, my collection one. But MongoDB collection one was not there here. That means so this was dropped successfully. So drop method will return true means if the selected collection is dropped successfully. Otherwise, it will return false. So like that, we can drop collection in MongoDB. So here in this lecture, what we discussed how to create collection and how to drop collection. In upcoming lectures, we will see other new interesting topics. Stay tuned for latest updates.